Hello, in this video I will demonstrate the Identity Management Framework from Ericsson Labs. Currently, users have to create a new account on every different website. They have to fill in tedious forms and are very likely to abandon new sites when asked to register. The Identity Management Framework has a user-centric approach in which users can safely reuse and control their identity. The framework is based on the OpenID protocol. OpenID allows a user to use an existing account to sign into multiple websites without the need to create new accounts. The Identity Management Framework has two main components, an OpenID provider for end users and an API for developers. The OpenID provider can be found at idm.labs.ericsson.net. Once the user creates a new account, he can use it to log in to any OpenID enabled website. Ericsson's identity provider also has a management interface where users can configure their preferences and see their activity history. The other component of the framework is the API. Using the API, developers can easily add registration and login functionalities to their websites. It's available for download at Ericsson Labs. The API allows developers to support OpenID login on their websites, request users' information, for example, full name and email, and select the authentication method for their users. It supports two methods, username and password, or GCE. The GCE login is based on GBA, Generic Bootstrap Architecture. It implements software that partially simulates SIM card functionalities. GCE login is currently supported for Android smartphones and desktops. Now let's look at some example websites that demonstrate what can be done using the API. Blueblog is a website that supports OpenID. I can log in using a username and password, or I can use my OpenID account. I want to use OpenID, so I type the URL of the Ericsson Identity Provider, idm.labs.ericsson.net. Now I am redirected to the Ericsson Identity Provider, which asks me to log in. Let's log in. Now, the server shows me that Blueblog wants to verify my OpenID identity. I can use my original OpenID, or I can use a specific ID created for this website. When I click on Allow, I am redirected back to Blueblog. As we can see, I am now logged in to Blueblog. Now, let's go to a different website. If I click and sign up, the website asks me to create a new account by filling in all of my details, but because they support OpenID, I can skip the registration and log in directly. I can type idm.labs.ericsson.net as I did before, or I can click on an identity provider. Let's select the Ericsson button. Since I am already logged into the Ericsson identity provider, we go directly to the authorization page. Here, I can set the sharing and identity preferences. This page is similar to the first example, but Photos asks for some additional information. I select the profile I want to share with the website. I can also create a new profile or edit my existing profiles. The website could have also asked for other information, such as language and phone number. The advantage is I can reuse this information and profile on any OpenID website. I'm not going to change the identity options. I click on Allow and I am redirected back to the Photos website with all the information the website requested. For more information, see the Identity Management Framework page at labs.ericsson.com. Thanks for watching.